Many of us have enjoyed whale watching off the coast of Southern California, but as our climate changes, one of our most precious species survival is being brought to the brink of possible extinction. This Earth Day, KCAL climatologist Marina Jurica takes us under the surface. The majestic gray whale migrates more than 10,000 miles every year from the chilly feeding waters of the Arctic to the warm breeding grounds of Baja, California. Human-caused climate change is now throwing a big curveball. And then when you layer on fisheries entanglements and loud and noisy oceans and boat strikes, it's like death by a thousand cuts. And it's not just the ocean's largest creatures. Over the past 15 years, we've had more unusual mortality events of a variety of whale species, seals and sea lions, small cetacean species, more than we've had ever in the past. Climate change is altering ocean temperatures and currents, which is making it harder to find food. Gray whales are migrating later, malnourished, and sometimes giving birth in unprotected areas further north. With an increasing lack of prey in their usual hunting grounds, orcas, also known as killer whales, are showing up off the Southern California coastline, intersecting with gray whales and their calves with deadly results. There's not a lot of things big enough to take down a gray whale, and orcas are one of them that have figured it out. So that's one of the most important things, is to study and understand how a warming ocean can impact the movements of animals. <laughs> Migration pattern changes in killer and gray whales are just the beginning. Our environment is so connected and the ecosystem really has these kind of butterfly effects where one little thing happens and that can really result in significant impacts down the road. Oceans have absorbed about 90% of the Earth's increased heat energy over the last 50 years. In recent years, prolonged periods of unusually high ocean temperatures, known as marine heat waves, have occurred across the globe, creating devastating effects on the marine ecosystems. Think of a ripple that turns into a wave. Everything has a cause and effect. As a climatologist, I have to forecast and monitor these changes so that we can protect and preserve these vital ecosystems. It's normal for environments to change, but when the change happens quickly, it doesn't give the opportunity for animals to react and change their behavior. Time is of the essence as climate change reshapes the delicate equilibrium for all of us who live here. Education is really the key for turning this around. And the reason I say that is that this is a collective effort. We all have to be a part of the solution. Climate change is one of the number one problems facing us today, and that is going to impact ourselves as well. Something that is always inspiring to me is that the general public overall wants to do better. They want to make a difference and they want to help the environment. They just need to be given the tools on how to do that. Like dominoes, it only takes one person to inspire change. Marina Jurica, KCAL News. It does take all of us. And, you know, I, I think to myself when I go out to the ocean, you see so much garbage and th there's mm -hmm. so many things we can do that would prevent some of this from happening. It just takes that one small step. Yeah. And I think seeing the creatures that are affected yes. makes a big difference, Absolutely. too, when you can actually put a face to it.